This video will provide an overview of the parts of the toilet. Toilets consist of two sections, the tank and the bowl. Most toilet tanks are bolted to the toilet bowl. A gasket creates a watertight seal to allow the water to flow from the tank to the bowl when the toilet is flushed. The toilet tank has several key parts. The flush valve, the flapper, the fill valve, and the flush lever. The flush valve, flapper, and flush lever work together to flush water into the bowl, while the fill valve replenishes the water in the tank for the next flush. The flapper is attached to the flush valve mounting arms and creates a seal on the flush valve opening. The flapper chain is connected to the flush lever arm. When the flush handle is activated, the flapper is lifted from the flush valve opening and allows water from the tank to flow into the toilet bowl, washing away the waste. In recent years, some toilet manufacturers have replaced the flapper style flush valve with a canister style flush valve. These valves use a seal instead of a flapper to create a seal on the flush valve opening. As the water begins to exit the tank, the fill valve, sometimes called the ball cock, is activated and replenishes the water in the tank. When the tank is full, the fill valve turns off. When wastewater is pushed out of the bowl, it passes through an outlet on the bottom of the bowl that empties into the floor drain. A seal, traditionally made with wax, but now often made with rubber and foam, ensures that the wastewater passes into the drain without leaking onto the floor. To learn more about the parts of a toilet, click here or visit corky.com slash toiletgenius.